Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how you can create AI tools website in WordPress using ChatGPT. So we are going to use ChatGPT to generate codes and we are also going to use ChatGPT API key for these AI tools. Here you will see a demo AI tools website that I have created in WordPress. You will also see calculators, PDF tools and image tools. However, these are not AI tools. These are the simple tools that I have created using ChatGPT. Now, what is AI tools? AI tools is something in which AI like ChatGPT, DeepSeek or Gemini is involved. For example, here we have blog title generator in which I'm going to add a topic and this information will be sent to AI tools like ChatGPT. ChatGPT is going to process the information and it is going to give you blog titles based on the topic that you have submitted. So in this tool, the ChatGPT is involved and that's why it is called as AI tools. We are getting help of AI to get the results. Now these calculators and PDF tools are not AI tools. These are simple tools. So I'm going to show you how you can create AI tools using ChatGPT. Definitely instead of WordPress, you can use HTML to create these tools. However, when you use a simple HTML file to create AI tools in which API key is involved, you are going to expose your API key to the world. So anybody can copy your API key and use your API key to create their tools. Now these API keys are free up to certain limits. After that, you will need to pay for API keys. So instead of creating AI tool using HTML, you can create the same AI tool using WordPress in which you are not going to expose your API key. I'll show you how you can hide the API key in WordPress and create AI tools. You can create a website with a single AI tool or you can also create multiple AI tools in a single website. Here I have multiple AI tools created in this website. Now in this video, I'll show you how you can create the YouTube video tags generator AI tool using ChatGPT. And you can use the same process to create other AI tools. You can use the same API key for all the AI tools. So let's go to ChatGPT. And here I'm going to add a prompt to create a YouTube tag generator AI tool. Okay, so here is the prompt. I want to create YouTube tags generator website using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and OpenAI API key. In this tool, user can add topic keyword or title and after clicking on the generate tags button, 10 to 15 relative tags should be generated. Use modern design and add button to copy all the generated tags. The maximum number of letters for tags should be less than 500. The generated tags should be high volume YouTube video tags. Combine HTML, CSS and JavaScript files in a single file. That means I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a single file in which HTML, CSS and JavaScript is included. So let's enter this prompt. Now it is going to work. It is going to take a minute. Here is a single file implementation of your YouTube tags generator using HTML CSS. The code is generated. Now I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to save this code in a notepad. I'll show you how does this work. Let's open notepad and paste the code here. And let's save it as yt tags dot HTML. All right, I'm going to save it as HTML file. I just want to show you how this works. I have it saved on the desktop. Let's go to desktop. Here is the file. Let's open it. And this is how the tool will look here. I can enter the topic, click on the button and it will generate the tags. Now I have not added the API key. This tool will need API key. If I go back to ChatGPT here, it shows all right, here you will see your open AI API key. So we need to replace this text with the API key that we are going to get from open AI. All right, now I'll show you how to get the API key from open AI. Let's search for chat GPD open AI API key. And this is the first result. Click on it and it will go to open AI platform from where you can get the open AI API key. Here you will see an option create new secret key click on it 
and you can enter a name for the application and it will generate an API key. I already have one API key here and I'm going to use this API key. Go to desktop and let's open the file again and we are going to replace this option here. You will see it here. Your open AI API key. I'm going to replace this. All right, so this is the key now and I'm going to save the file with the new API key. And let's refresh the page. Now let's add a topic here best SEO tutorial and I want to generate tags based on this topic and you will see the tags are generated successfully now still it is in HTML we are using the simple HTML file just to see whether the code is working or not the code is working properly if you want to create the website using HTML you can use the same code and it will work. However, in this case, we are going to use WordPress and we are going to use the same API key for all the AI tools. And I want to hide the API key. I don't want this API key to be public. And let me show you the prompt that we are sending to ChatGPT. Here you will see the prompt. Generate 10 to 15 high volume YouTube video tags for the topic. And this is the topic. The topic is nothing but this topic. Whatever you enter here, will be considered as a topic so this will be replaced by this topic that's what the code is tags should be comma separated under 500 characters total so if you want to change the prompt you can also change the prompt for example here we have 10 to 15 high volume instead of that if you want you can use 5 to 10 high volume youtube video tags so you can modify the prompt that you are submitting to the chat GPT. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a code snippet plugin on the WordPress website. And in the code snippet plugin, we are going to add the API key. And this API key will remain same for all the AI tools. So I'm going to add a new prompt in chat GPT. And the prompt will be, I will use code snippet plugin for the API key. This will be common API key for all the AI tools and not only for this single AI tool. Regenerate the code that I can add in code snippet common for all AI tools. Rewrite the code for code snippet and rewrite the combined HTML, CSS and JavaScript for the front. So we are going to get two different codes, one for the code snippet and the other one for the front end. Enter the prompt. Here you will see code, WordPress code snippet. This will be for the backend where we are going to add our API key. And this is the second code that will be for the front end. All right, let's go back to a website. Here I have one demo WordPress website that I have created. And I'm going to show you how does this work on this demo WordPress website. So let's go to dashboard. And first of all, we are going to add the code snippet plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin and search for code snippet. This is the plugin. This is a free version of the plugin. Click on install now. Activate it. The plugin is installed and activated. Here you will see snippets. Click on add new snippet. And let's name it as common chat GPT API key. This is just the name of the snippet. Let's go back and copy this code. Enter the code here. And here you will see an option to replace the API key. So we need to add our API key here. So I'm going to replace this text with the API key and save and activate. All right, so you don't need to make any changes. Just add the API key and activate the snippet. You will see the snippet is activated. It is a PHP snippet. Now let's go to one of the pages. We are going to create a page for this AI tool. Instead of pages, you can also create the AI tool in post so that whenever you add a new AI tool, it will be listed automatically on the home page. In this case, I'm going to create a new page. So let's click on add a page. And let's name it as YouTube tag generator. In this case, I'm using Elementor as the page builder. If you are using the default Gutenberg, you can use default Gutenberg to add the HTML code. I'm going to use Elementor. All right, let's add a new section here. 
and let's look for the HTML widget. In the default Gutenberg also, you will see HTML widget. You just need to use the HTML widget. So let's go back to chat GPT and copy this code for the front end. You will see the code, copy it. Let's go back and enter the code here. Now this one does not look good because we have different style settings here. Now let's customize this HTML code. This is the body and I'm going to delete this minimum height. Flex. And I'm going to delete the background color also. All right, so this one looks good now. Now let's select the section and I'm going to center align it. So you will need to play with the style settings. All right, so this one looks good to me. Let's publish it and let's open it in a new tab. All right, so this is the title. Here you can enter the topic and the tags will be created. All right, so this is the topic. Let's click on generate tags. And you will see that the YouTube video tags are generated successfully. I can copy this tag and I can use it on YouTube video. So this AI tool is working properly. Now, if I want to add more AI tools, I can use the same API key for all the AI tools on this website. And the API key will not be exposed to the public. So if I go to view page source, you will not see API key in the source code. However, if you are using HTML file to create AI tool with the API key, the API key will be exposed to the world and they can copy your API key. So if you want to create AI tools website, I'll suggest you to go for WordPress instead of HTML website. Use code snippet to store your API key and ChatGPT to generate the code in HTML and CSS for the front end. It is not difficult to create an AI tool website. Getting traffic to the website is more challenging. Anybody can create AI tools website. However, you need to rank your website higher in search engine results. Only then you will be getting traffic to your website. And once you start getting traffic to your website, you can monetize the website using Google AdSense or any other advertising platform. If you are creating single AI tools website, you can also generate content for that single page. For example, here I have a simple tool and I have also added content using ChatGPT. So this content is also generated using ChatGPT. Just below the tool, I have added this content. This is only for the SEO purposes. You will also need to create backlinks to your website and you will need to promote your website so that you will get traffic to your website. Again, it is not difficult to create website. However, getting traffic to your website is more challenging. In the upcoming videos, I'll show you how you can create different types of tools using ChatGPT and WordPress. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.